Oh, oh, sorry. Um, well, welcome. I'm not used to using a. Wait. Why is my monitor not working? Hold up. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Welcome everybody to my setup video. Now, this is going to be not really professional because I've never really recorded stuff IRL. This is not something I'm used to. And I'm, uh, it's not really exactly in my comfort zone, so I'm not like 100% good. Anyways, to get this started, um, here's my chair. Yup, I have a great chair. This was from Staples. This was a present to me, and um, I love it dearly. Um, it lets me sit down for hours on end, and uh, my butt doesn't hurt, so, you know, yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a plus. Um, over here we have a TV that I don't know what the inch is, to be honest with you. I kind of forget, not gonna lie. Um, but it's a TV, and it has nothing to really do with my computer. But it allows me to play my Switch, my PS4, other games like that, you know, on uh, a TV while I sit down on my chair that makes me sit down. Um, here's my Midoriya. He's actually a piggy bank, um, which is kind of cool. I also have another Midoriya over there. Which took a long time, but, you know, I put it in the background because um, I like the way it looks. Um, and then I have a bunch of random junk here. You know, hand sanitizers, some gum. Um, if you go into my drawer down here, I got a bunch of candy because I'm not healthy. And then I have a box over here um, that has my ring light because I'm supposed to do face cam and I'm supposed to show my face at 10k subscribers and it's gonna happen eventually so and I've always just wanted a ring light before I've never actually had one before so it would be nice to have one uh, so yeah make sure to subscribe so you can uh, give me to 10k all right to start this off as well um, here's my mic it's a Shure SM7B this thing is a beauty I love this mic However, I'm still working out the kinks. I don't know everything about audio, so I'm still working with it, hoping that I can get it completely fixed and working because it still picks up a lot of audio that I don't want to. Um, I might need a new interface or something, but you know, I'm, I'm working out the kinks. I have a PS1 mic arm boom stand here that uh, is pretty dope. It's, it's awesome. It's uh, spring loaded, so it's very easy to maneuver and it goes all over. Probably the best mic mount that I've ever seen to be honest with you it's very good quality and I just I just love it even though I'm looking at the mic but here's the uh, stand all right and next um, here's the video that um, you'll also be seeing today um, it's rendering at the moment while I'm recording this and uh, you should definitely definitely listen to my discord they're weirdos but um, links in description if you want to join in but yeah, I have two 27 inch 144 hertz Acer monitors. They are super flat. Um, I don't know the exact thing. I will put everything down in the description if you guys are curious to see what all my gear is. Um, I probably won't be links to the stores because I'm honestly too lazy for that, so I'll just tell you what they are. Um, but yeah, so those are my two monitors that uh, I dearly love. Next, I have um, the K70MX Red keyboard. Um, I don't have the, the wrist rest here. Um, I took it off, I don't really enjoy it. But this thing is very beat up and very old. This is a pretty old keyboard of mine. Um, it squeaks a lot. My S key keeps falling off. I hate this stupid S key, as you can probably tell in my videos. Uh, but it has served me really well over the years. It's just very beat up, it's old, has a lot of spots and, and cracks and hair and yeah. But it's still a great keyboard. I highly suggest this keyboard if you're looking for one. Um, I actually put O-rings on them if you can so I have O-rings on them, which is that black kind of rubber thing. And uh, that just helps soften the noise when you press it down on the key. So it's not super loud on recording. It still is pretty loud, but it's not as loud as it would be. Um, next, I have the Razer Death Adder Elite. Now, I don't actually like Razer products, but this, this mouse just fits my hand correctly. Um, past that, I don't like it, to be honest with you. I just like the way that it fits on my hand, or else I wouldn't uh, be using it right now. I'm looking at other mice right now. I'm looking for something that can take over this one because um, I, just, I just don't like it. But uh, it's still a very nice mouse, and it does have RGB, so that's cool. It does light up multiple colors, and it's also kind of old for me now. I've had it for a long time, so... Um, it's time to upgrade anyways. Over here is my Focusrite Gen 3. This is hooked up to my Shure SM7B. This is a great interface. I love this 
I love this, love this, love this. It's super small, compact, it's red, fits my, fits my style, um, favorite color. And it's actually hooked up to a cloud lifter, but it's down below and I can't actually show you because it's hidden. But uh, yeah, so that is how I power my mic into my computer. And speaking of computer, here is the lady. Here is my, my really good... I guess you could call PC. As you can tell, I have an EVGA GeForce GTX 1070. I'm looking to get into the 20 series, but honestly, if I'm gonna upgrade my computer or the GPU, I'm just gonna upgrade the entire thing, because this case and a lot of parts in, in here are over four years old, so it's a very old computer, honestly. Just has some decent parts in it, which allows me to uh, record and make videos, obviously. But rendering takes forever. Still rendering, it's been rendering for probably like 40 minutes to an hour. Um, um, so rendering does take a long time, so I'm looking to get new components, but I think I'm just going to upgrade my entire PC if I do that, um, and that way I can fix all the wiring and stuff. As you can tell, it's very old, it's very dusty, and the, my one of, one of my USB slots actually don't work. Again, it's very, very old, but it gets the job done, and this is what it looks like. I know a lot of people are curious to see what my computer is. That's what it looks like. Nothing fancy. It's actually a very basic computer. And then I just have some like Walmart bought speakers and a C920 webcam that I used to use when I streamed on Twitch. But I don't stream on Twitch anymore, so um, that's out of the works. And I now have this camera that I'm using that I'm probably going to use for face cam. So anyways, that is my setup. I mean, it's nothing fancy, nothing spectacular. That's just what it is. Um, I know a lot of people are curious about what my room looks like. So I have my door here. Um, and then I have, actually, I have my Vive sensors up on the thing. I do have Vive and I do have um, VR, but I started uh, not using it as much as I used to. I used to use it all the time. But, uh, yeah, you walk in. I have a mess, which is where my ring light just, it just came in, so I was unboxing it. I have clothes and a bunch of junk over there. My manga and stuff's on that desk, and I want to display it, but I'm going to wait till I move out because there's people that live here. So once I get my own place and... Uh, you know, hopefully YouTube works really well for me, then I can uh, get my own place and have a really nice backdrop for you guys. I have clothes, a bunch of stuff just shoved into my closet and my bed that hasn't been made yet. So, yeah, that is my room. This is where I spend majority of my life in. I also have a green screen. I don't use it anymore. I used to use it when I streamed on Twitch, but I don't actually use it anymore. I might use it in future videos or future things, but for now, I'm not going to. And then I have a random lamp up there that's attached to a tripod pole thing because um, it gets very dark in this room because it's red. It's a dark red. So the lighting in this room is not good as you can tell from like over here and over in that corner. Also, don't mind my holes in the wall. This is a very old house. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this setup. It was uh, honestly not super professional, but hopefully I can get used to being on camera more often, you know? So... Again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, get me to 10K, then you can see my beautiful, wonderful face behind the camera. And uh, I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scout.